10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Lift off at the Falcon 9. Go space up. Go train for the 13. Stage 1 propulsion is not at all. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the tower and lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Now we're currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. Max Q is reached Power when the telemetry nominal. Good call out there. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing speed of the rocket. We should be hearing that call out Falcon for Max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Another good call out there. We should be hearing that call out for Max Q in just a few moments from now. Max Q. And there we've just passed through Max-Q. Now we have several events coming up in quick succession. First is MECO, or main engine cutoff, where all nine Merlin engines shut down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Next, the MVAC engine... MVAC chill. The MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which you will hear called out as second engine start one, or SES one. Then the first stage boost back burn will place the booster on a trajectory to head back to Earth towards landing zone four. So keep an eye out for these events happening back to back. It will be quick. We're about 15 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back in ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there you heard and saw those five events that happened back to back, including main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation. Then we had the stage one flip. And following that was the second engine start one and the start of the boost back burn on the first stage. Coming up next will be fairing separation in just about 20 seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And great call out there confirming fairing separation. So the boost back burn is ongoing, and that's used to slow the forward velocity and return the first stage back towards the landing site, which is LZ4 today. As a reminder, those fairing halves will make their way back to Earth stage for recovery. Boost back shut down. That's boost back shut down. Now the next major milestone coming up is entry burn on our Falcon 9 first stage, which is scheduled to occur at around the T plus six minute mark. We're currently in our first MVAC burn, and this burn should last for another few minutes. As I mentioned, the next milestone will be the first stage entry burn coming up in a few minutes. Today Falcon 9 is performing two burns in order to land. Now the first burn, known as the entry burn, slows the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Today's entry burn will be a single engine entry burn where only E9, the center engine, will relight. And without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag to slow down Falcon 9, which would add extra stress to the vehicle. Following entry burn, the booster will initiate the landing burn, which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful land landing.
Now, reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will be performing this entry burn for the 13th time tonight. This booster previously supported NASA Crew-7, CRS-29, PACE, Transporter-10, Earth Care, NROL-186, and six Both unique... vehicles are on nominal trajectories. And six Starlink missions, and we had a good call out there for good trajectories of both vehicles. Now, the payload fairings for this mission are also flight-proven, with one half flying for its 11th time and the other half flying for its 8th. Now, as a reminder, we should be hearing that call-out for entry burn startup of the Falcon 9 first stage in just about 15 seconds from now. Stage one, entry burn startup. And good call out there for entry burn startup of the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn will last for about 15 seconds and as a reminder is on the left hand side of your screen. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And good call out there for entry burn shutdown. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for its 13th time today, and we're targeting a land-based landing at Vandenberg's LZ-4. Stage one FTS has saved. Good call out there. Now, today's landing burn attempt will be a three-engine landing burn, where engines one, five, and nine will relight to really quickly slow the vehicle down before touchdown. We should be hearing that call out for landing burn startup in just about 15 seconds from now. Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn. And there you heard that call out for the landing burn start on the Falcon 9 first stage. This is the final burn that this booster will see before touching down on LZ-4. Landing link deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And as you saw and probably heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four, marking the 13th landing for this stage specific... Stage two is in terminal guidance. And we had a good call out there. Now next up, we're expecting shutdown of the second stage MVAC engine in just about 20 seconds from now. MVAC shut down. Stage 2 FTS is safe.